In today's video, I'm going to give you four Major League Baseball free plays. And the first game I'm going to go over is the Baltimore Orioles at Detroit Tigers. At the time of this recording, the Orioles are putting out Zach Eflin on the mound while the Detroit Tigers are undecided on their starting pitcher. But never fear, that doesn't affect my play today. As many of you have seen in my previous videos, I'm a previous Major League Baseball scout for 10 years and I use my same scouting grade scales and systems that I used when I was a scout for my cappy. I use a scale of 1 to 30 for batting, bullpens, and starting pitching. There are about 300 starting pitchers and I grade them on a scale of 1 to 30. Since the Detroit Tigers pitcher is not decided, we don't have much to go on there, but Zach Eflin's having a pretty good season and rounding on a scale of 1 to 30, I have Zach Eflin ranked number 8 out of 30 pitchers. The good news for the Orioles, the bad news for the Orioles is I have their bullpen ranked 17 and I have their batting ranked 24 out of 30. The Orioles need to pick it up or else they will not win the American League East and they might even fall further back in the wild card race. The Detroit Tigers are a surprisingly decent team as far as hitting is concerned. I currently have them ranked 4 out of 30 teams and their bullpen I have them ranked 6. So while they lead the Orioles in those two very significant categories, I can't bet on the Tigers given the fact that their starting pitcher has not been decided. However, I can give out a free play in this game and I'm going to bet the Detroit Tigers team total over. Generally speaking, when an underdog of plus 115 or plus 120 is such, their team total will be three and a half. If you can get a Detroit team total at three and a half, I will bet the over on that. Uh, sometimes you can get an alt team total of two and a half for a minus 160 or minus 170. I would even go with that. But either way, with Baltimore's bullpen struggling, rank 17, uh, and Zach Eflin, if you look at his stats against Detroit Tigers in his career, there's only 11 at bats, but they've really gotten to him with a batting average against of 364 and an OPS against of 909. Granted, the sample size is only 11 at bats, but Carpenter, Green, McKinstry, and Tor Torkelson all really get to him. I expect some runs here for the Tigers, and I would like a over two and a half or an over three and a half for their team total. Let me interrupt the free play video for a moment to tell you that I begged and begged Wager Talk to give me a deal here. I know football season started and I'm not a football capper, but I am the number one all sports profit capper at Wager Talk three of the last four years. And I'm plus 173 units in 2024, leading every capper at Wager Talk. I'm also leading every capper in MLB profit at plus 121 units in 2024. So here's the special. Down there, you will see my Twitter handle, and up there, you will see a link to my Wager Talk page. At my Wager Talk page, right now, you can get the rest of my MLB regular season absolutely free if you buy my Major League postseason. $3 a day, it's about two months. If you purchase that deal, you can get the rest of my Major League Baseball regular season for free. If that deal is too much for you, I also have a feature MLB play out at that page as well for $15. Either way, I'm a great guy to roll with. Number one, three of the last four years. Number one, all cappers, 2024. Number one, all cappers in MLB 2024. Ride with me. I also have a free play loaded. Let's get back to the free plays. The next game I'm going to look at is the Cardinals and Blue Jays. So we got Kevin Gaussman for the Blue Jays and Eric Fetty for the Cardinals. Now the first reaction is to say, oh, Kevin Gaussman, he's a stud. Actually, he has not been that much of a stud this season. He's hit quite a few roadblocks and he's had uh, some ups and downs this season. If you look at Kevin Gaussman's history against the St. Louis Cardinals, he has 51 at bats against for a 314 batting average against and a 907 OPS against. So the Cardinals have pretty much had their way with him throughout his career and given the fact that he's having quite a tumultuous season I think the Cardinals are going to score some runs on him today. It's a little bit concerning that I have the Cardinals ranked 25th out of 30 in hitting but the Cardinals do have the 8th ranked bullpen compared to the Blue Jays 27th ranked bullpen. 
So, given the fact that Gaussman has such horrible stats against the Cardinals in his history, and the fact that the Toronto Blue Jays bullpen ranks bottom three in all of Major League Baseball, I think we'll see some Cardinals runs in this game. I like the St. Louis Cardinals team total over in this game if you can get a three and a half. If you can get an alt two and a half for a decent number, I like the St. Louis Cardinals team total over two and a half for an alt line as well. I actually would even take a flyer on the St. Louis Cardinals winning this game because Eric Fetty, I have him ranked 18th out of 30 pitchers on the curve and I have Kevin Gaussman ranked 11 out of 30. So numbers alone, yes, Kevin Gaussman has a slight advantage, but given the fact that his history against the Cardinals is so poor, and the Toronto Blue Jays bullpen is so horrible. Uh, I think the Cardinals have a shot at winning this game, but I really like the Cardinals team total better than the side. The next game I'm going to look at is the Tampa Bay Rays and the Cleveland Guardians. We've got Tanner Beebe going for the Guardians and Zach Littell for the Tampa Bay Rays. So straight up, just give you my numbers. Batting wise, I have the Guardians batting very mediocre, ranked 15 out of 30 teams, while I have the Tampa Bay Rays ranked 22 out of 30, so towards the bottom of the pack. Bullpen-wise, uh, the Cleveland Guardians have a top five bullpen. Uh, they have the best closer in the league, and they have a really great uh, middle relief. So I have them ranked five out of 30 teams, where I have the Tampa Bay Rays ranked 22 out of 30 teams. And starting pitching, I have Tanner Beebe on a curve of 30, ranked 14 so pretty mediocre right around mediocre and i have zach littell ranked 17 out of 30 so a little bit below average for him looking at history against the other team tanner bb against the tampa bay rays only 12 at bats but he's held him to a 167 batting average and a 333 ops as i've said in previous videos since my scouting days for OPS, I look at 750 as kind of a Mendoza line. So if you're allowing higher than a 750 OPS against the opposition, then the opposition's getting the best of you as a starting pitcher. And if you're allowing less than 750, you're generally getting the best of the batters as a starting pitcher. BB has a 333 OPS against, so obviously he's dominated in the small sample size of 12 at bats versus these Rays. Zach Littell against the Cleveland Guardians has a little more larger sample size at 37 at bats. He's allowed a 298 batting average against and a 701 OPS. Not horrible, not great, but a 297 batting average against is not very good. Given the fact that he allows a better batting average, the Cleveland Guardians have a huge bullpen advantage here and the fact that the Guardians hit better than the Rays. I like the Guardians on the money line. It's a little steep of a price. Uh, here's a little trick as a professional gambler you can use. Uh, you can use an alt minus one. What that means is if your team wins by one run, it's not a loss like it would be on the minus one and a half run line, but with a minus one, you get a push. So it's like playing Pai Gao poker. There are a lot of pushes, but at least it's a lot safer than the minus one and a half run line. And generally you can cut about 30 cents off the price in the book so i like the cleveland guardians on the money line or the cleveland guardians minus one in this game the last game we're going to look at is the los angeles dodgers and the atlanta braves so we've got landon knack going against spencer schwellenbach schwellenbach's having a great season uh he's probably one of the better pitchers that most people have never heard of uh but landon knack actually i have him ranked a little bit higher than schwellenbach i have landon knack on the curve of 30 starting pitchers ranked 11 while i have schwellenbach ranked 13. batting wise the dodgers rank five so they're a top five batting team and i have the atlanta braves ranked 22. so their batting is really struggling i mean they have so many injuries with olsen arcia akuna uh lots of injuries uh on this team and it's showing in their batting the dodgers bullpen is a worry i have them ranked 27 out of 30 teams while i have the braves ranked very high at 6.3 however when you have a top five lineup and a pitcher that's ranked 11 out of 30 on a curve in landon knack i find it very difficult not to take that team especially when both teams are a pick em in this game i like the dodgers a lot 
You just have to hope that the bullpen holds on. Joe Kelly's injured, so fortunately for Dodgers fans, you won't see Joe Kelly come in and give up his obligatory home run and two earned runs every time he comes on the field. Uh, however, their bullpen is struggling even with Joe Kelly sidelined. Uh, that's a little bit of a worry, but still, when you have the top five lineup in Major League Baseball with a really good pitcher who I like in Landon Knack and the Atlanta Bats struggling ranked 22 out of 30 teams, I really like the Dodgers here. Make a small play on the Dodgers on the money line at even money. Uh, you get a top five lineup. You get Otani, Hernandez, Mookie Betts, Freddie Freeman. Take those guys and take the money when the game's done. Again, take a look at that link up there. That's my Wager Talk page. You can get my entire Major League Baseball rest of the regular season for absolutely free by purchasing my Major League Baseball postseason for $3 a day. It's a great deal. I'm number one in all sports profit at Wager Talk plus 173 units in 2024. I'm number one in Major League Baseball profit plus 121 units in 2024. And I'm Wager Talk's most profitable capper three of the last four years and nobody else can say that. You can also get my feature MLB money line play today at that link as well. Hit the like and subscribe button below. Show Wager Talk that you like Tokyo Brandon. It's football season now. I get very little attention at Wager Talk. So if you hit the like button and leave a comment below, you'll show the office at Wager Talk that Tokyo Brandon is a swell guy and we like him. Grab my feature MLB play today and grab my MLB deal at the link above. That's all for today. I'll be back with more. I'm funny how? I mean, funny like I'm a clown, I amuse you.